Hey look! A video on Lars's channel that's actually about music. Holy shit, dude! I thought this day would never come. Hey, I'm Lars, as you know. Today, I'm gonna be talking about my favorite albums. Now, there's something that a lot of people don't know about me, and everyone is probably gonna freak the fuck out as soon as I say this, because, holy shit, dude, but... I don't listen to albums. I hardly ever do. I The bands that I like, probably 80-85% of the bands I like, I like different songs by them, like, scattered throughout albums. I don't usually sit down and just take an album and listen to that all the way through. I do that, like, on road trips most of the time, but when I'm here, at home, in the metal house, then... I'll just listen to songs by bands. I like a lot of different songs by a lot of different bands, but not a lot of different albums by a lot of different bands, because that's just the way I fucking work, dude. I don't know why. <laughs> Who the fuck knows? Alright, so, this video is all about my favorite albums, the ones that I have listened to. So, let's just fucking get right to it then. Uh, <laughs> so I've got a pile of albums sitting here. I guess I'll start with this one. This one's on top. ACDC, Back in Black. This is a great album. This is a high energy, just classic hard rock. ACDC is one of those bands that you listen to, like, when you need to get hyped, when you need to wake up. Like, this'll, this'll fucking wake you up, man. <laughs> um, I do like Bon Scott's vocals. But I do like Brian Johnson as well. I, I like TNT, you know, that was a good album too. But I do like Brian Johnson as well. I like both of them. I think I might just like this one better. Oh shit. Alright, yeah. So, hell yeah. Um, next, I've got Led Zeppelin 2. Oh, this is just. I, I don't know, man. I don't know how to describe this. It's, just, it's fucking Zep. You can't go wrong with Zep. Uh,. Then I've got, oh, hell yeah, I got a Nirvana, Nirvana Nevermind, another high energy album, this is, this pumps you up, man, like, the, the screams of Kurt Cobain, the pounding drums of Dave Grohl, wow, I sound like a, some kind of album critic, which I'm not, because we don't listen to albums, yeah, there's something wrong with me, uh, but yeah, this, I, I like this one better than In Utero, <laughs> Uh, yeah, mm. uh, and, uh, I think my favorite song on here is, uh, it's either Breed or Lounge Act, I, I don't know. I do like Something in the Way as well, and I like Smells Like Teen Spirit, it's not the only Nirvana song I know. Yeah, I'm looking at, I'm, I'm looking at you, yeah, I'm looking at you! Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, we were gonna do some more Nirvana songs. You know, me and the band that I play with, but you know, we gotta learn them first. Uh, the hell yeah, dude. Nirvana. Alright. Uh, oh, I guess I could talk about my favorite songs from these two. Uh, favorite song from Led Zeppelin 2. I think it's Live and Love and Made. And, uh, Back in Black. It's, you know, it's gotta be Back in Black song, the album title, but I do like Hell's Bells as well, like, fucking ACDC man, hell yeah. Um, and then, oh, yep, here we go, <laughs> you know, me with the Metallica albums, me, the big Metallica fanboy, huge Metallica fanboy. <sighs> Where the fuck do I begin? You know what? I like Justice better than Puppets, alright? I do like puppets, but I like Justice better. Have you heard this? Have you heard Blackened? Have you heard One? Have you heard Dyer's Eve? If there was a fucking headbanging song where you, 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 you just, you hear it, and you just have to fucking headbang because metal, you know? Fucking thrash metal. <laughs> I've mentioned before that my favorite Metallica song is To Live Is To Die, which is off this one. And then I think my second favorite Metallica song is Dyer's Eve, because it just pumps me up so much. Um, but I do like Master of Puppets as well. Um, I like Battery. I like Master of Puppets. I like Welcome Home, Sanitarium. It's just 
just fucking Metallica, dude. Like, what else is there to say? Come on. I can't pick a favorite Beatles album, alright? One, I don't listen to albums. <laughs> Two, there's so many different Beatles songs I like. I don't know where they're all from, you know? I told you about the, you know, the scattering of songs. Like, I, songs that, like, are from here. I cannot fucking explain things, alright? Look. I'm not on any sort of illegal substance. <laughs> I know a lot of people think I am. Alright, you know what? I'll show you something better. Alright. Can you even see all that? I don't even know if you can see all that. All the, the, the entire Beatles album catalog. This is actually my dad's poster because he's a bigger Beatles fan than I am. Uh, yeah. You know, alright, let me pick an era so, so that everybody doesn't, that nobody freaks the fuck out. I like the uh, 1962 to 1966 Beatles, alright? I also can't pick a favorite Steve Vai album because, you know, the not listening to albums thing, the scattered songs, I like a lot of his work with other bands. I like a lot of Steve Vai's work with David Lee Roth. That, that was great. Um, I do have Passion and Warfare on vinyl, <laughs> though. Some of the albums I like, I don't own, but I've just listened to, like, by illegally downloading. <laughs> um, you probably already know this because I've covered them before, but oh, this is going way back. One of my favorite bands, or at least they were like in middle school, is Skillet. Hell yeah, dude. Like, one of the first bands that I was like super into was Skillet. And I think my favorite album by them is either Awake or Rise. Like, those are both great album. I, I like Comatose as well, but those two, like, those are high up. And, uh, if we're staying back there in middle school, oh god, no. <laughs> if we're staying back there, Dear Agony by Breaking Benjamin, that's, a, that's also a great album. So, what the fuck is my favorite album? Uh, I don't have the case, but I do have this sheet where there's a bunch of albums. Whoa, look at that. Whoa. It's like you open the jacket. It's like, yeah, what do you want? <laughs> um, it's in here. You ready for the album that I think is really great? That's all I can say right now. Where the fuck is it? Which pocket is it in? That's mine. That's... Uh -huh. Come on. Oh, here we go. This might be my favorite album. Either that or And Justice For All, but this one? The Wall by Pink Floyd. Yes, I have listened to this on multiple road trips. And I... Dude. Pink Floyd. It's fucking great, alright? This is the... Probably the greatest concept album. <laughs> I didn't... I don't really have... Listen to this, alright? If you haven't, listen to The Wall by Pink Floyd. Because I... Don't know really what to say. Just like you gotta listen to And Justice For All by Metallica. These, these, these two, these two are probably my favorite albums. All right, there you go. Lars's favorite albums, there you go. Well, I mean, that's that really. I probably talked for a long ass time, but you know, that's what happens sometimes. That's what happens when I get overly hyped on metal and classic rock because not all these albums were metal, you know? So, really, that's it. So, you got my favorite albums. You got all of them. That's... There you go. Okay. Well, new videos are coming soon, like they always are. I'll see you next time, and until then, stay metal.